you know it, I know it, we all know it. There has been a lot of good Andrew Tate has done, and we cannot deny that, but there is one glaring elephant in the fucking room that he has also done. I don't just blame him for it, though. I also gotta blame the fucking TikTok. I gotta blame TikTok, that disgusting, that disgusting, horrible, dark, dark cesspit of an app. I, I don't use TikTok anymore, and you know what? I'm very, very happy I don't. But, you know, I've seen what was on there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Keeping up with, like, 14 to 16-year-olds making Andrew Tate edits, saying that they're going to drive this one day, they're going to be this successful, they're going to do this and that. And they don't actually have anything beyond words to show for it. Granted, there are some out there who will do well with themselves and they'll start making thousands at 15 years old, 16 years old. And that's obviously insane. That's, like, pretty much, like, very rare. I think that's, like, probably put you in, like, 5% of people at that age. Not, probably not even that. It's an insanely rare thing to do. But at the same time, you may have fallen into this trap. You may have been looking at Tate a lot. You may have been looking at, especially, like, newer... Well, not so much newer, but, like, 2022 Hamza a lot. You may have been looking at all those things about, oh, woman attraction. Oh, yeah, I'm going to make this much money. I'm going to be this successful, this and that. And you don't have a plan to do it. I sympathise with you. Mainly because this was a position that I was stuck in. I was stuck making that mistake. I was stuck for ages having that desire to become successful. To become a man of value. And I always thought it was obvious things like getting rich. Doing this and that. And I know it's going to sound cliche. Like it's some family friendly Disney movie. But literally that is not going to solve your problems. So many rich millionaires will end up killing themselves and have killed themselves. There's so many other things that go beyond, oh yeah, making money. Don't get me wrong, it's good. Being able to provide for your loved ones is good. Being able to provide for your family is good. To make sure that they always have a roof over their heads and they don't have to worry about the fucking living crisis and all that is great. I'm never going to like act like that's not a big deal because it obviously is. Why wouldn't it be? But the thing a lot of people seem to miss and it goes completely over their heads is that this content this constant rewatches of yeah yeah i'm gonna do it. i just need a plan i just need a plan it's not gonna help you i said this on a podcast the other day plans are over rated i'm gonna say that one more time plans are overrated anything you want to do in life you don't need a plan hot take you don't need a plan do you want to know why you don't need a plan? Because if you plan and think about it for ages and ages and ages, you're just not going to end up doing it. You'll be like, yes, I'll do this. And then I'll be able to do that. And then once I do that, I'll be able to do this and that and this. And then I can go into this. No, you're thinking too much on all these other factors that haven't even come into play yet. It's almost the exact same as like going to talk to a girl. You're thinking, oh yeah, I should say this and then do this and that. And then that way I'll get the best. Like, no, no, you don't need a plan. You don't need a plan as much as everyone says you do. You need a goal. Don't get me wrong, you need a goal. But you also need to just start. And then the plan will form itself that way. It can be a really rough thing of, yeah, I'm going to try this. See if it works out. And if it doesn't work out, I'll try this. Then I'll try this. Then I'll try this. That's exactly what i done. I started off with a clothing brand. I stopped doing it because it was taking too much time away from me. And it wasn't. it was actually owning me. I would bring it back maybe at some point, but I don't know. I don't think I will for a while anyway. I sold my drawings. I sold my drawings for a bit, but that also was time consuming and it was taken away from the stuff I really wanted to do, which was just draw more of the stuff I wanted to do. It was taken away... Well, I messed it up. Fuck. <laughs> it was taken away from my passions. It was taken away from like just stuff I wanted to do. It's exactly why I dropped out of college because art was... That art... Being so specific and put in a box just took it away from me and took away the joy. It's literally just as simple as having a desire for more than what is around you and pursuing something along those lines with a passion. You may not know what your passion is yet. At least you think you don't know. But I'm guaranteed there's probably a little something in your soul that tells you this feels right. And that's all you've got to do. All you need to do is find the thing that tells you this feels right. And then pursue that and then work away, work your way around it and then monetize it if you can. It's as simple as that. It doesn't need to be such a grand 
plan. It doesn't need to be, oh, I'll do this and that and that. Because you trust me, you overthink and you won't do it. I guarantee you, you overthink and you won't do it. How many, I've got a good example here. We'd be talking about like trading, etc. How many people traded with a specific plan and they didn't just dump their money first time and then lose it? Because I know for a fact, like, I did. GME in 2020, hello. Or was it 2021? I can't mind. But yeah, side tangent there, side story. But still, you just need to dive in and that way you will learn on the job. Trust me, just learn on the job. Learn as you record these videos. Learn as you do that passion. Learn as you drop ship. I don't care what it is. Although I don't think anyone is really fulfilled by drop shipping, in all honesty. But if it brings them significant money, like, great. I'm never going to dispute that. But listen, like, it's what it is at the end of the day. If you find something that makes you happy, simply just do it. And you don't need to act like you're better than everyone else or like consume so much of the Sigma male grind set content. Because trust me when I say it, it will make you so weird. And trust me, because you're going to become so weird and like so socially disconnected from other people, you're not going to be able to connect with people. Therefore, you're not going to be able to sell anything of what you're wanting to do to become rich. Because if you're wanting to, like, if you're literally wanting to become rich or start a business, you need to answer to people's needs. They need something and there's nothing around for that. So you have to fulfill that need, fulfill that desire. It's not as simple as, oh, okay, I just want to make money. Because trust me, if you start anything with the intention of just making money, you're not going to do it. I make these videos for a passion. Simple as that. If I can monetize them in the future, great. Of course, that is a big plan. But listen, I'm just enjoying the process. And I think you should too. So keep these words in mind. I'll see you in a bit, boys. Take care. If we hit five likes, I'm going to plaster my balls with cement. I'll see you in a bit, man. Take care.